It's dry and it's settled, as you can see from our outlook for our capital cities. Bye bye. At 10, we're in Jerusalem as Israel's deadline approaches for more than a million people living in northern Gaza to leave their homes so the Israeli Defense Forces can clear out Hamas. The response from the Palestinian ambassador to the UN that this amounts to ethnic cleansing, a view shared in Gaza. Our enemies are evil. Our enemies are cowards, killing children without any humanity. We have the remarkable story of the Israeli woman shot six times by Hamas, but saved by her father. Her message, all civilians are the same. I want they be saved. I don't think they need to die like I don't need to die. They like me. And we're hearing that the Israeli Defense Forces are carrying out localized raids into Gaza, gathering evidence to help locate hostages. And the other main stories on tonight's programme. As the violence in the Middle East triggers protests in the UK, a senior official warns of the language used at some pro-Palestinian rallies. Was it Carrie Johnson in charge during COVID? The inquiry into the pandemic hears the country's top civil servant worried about her influence. 120. And following his accident on Top Gear, Freddie Flintoff reaches a multi-million pound settlement with BBC Studios. On Newsnight at 10.30, Mark Urban is in Jerusalem as over a million Gazans decide whether to heed an Israeli warning and move south, while in London we'll be asking how communities are feeling. Good evening to you. We're live in Jerusalem where it's just after midnight local time with the end of the 24-hour period Israel has set for people living in northern Gaza to evacuate the area fast approaching. More than a million people have been warned to move south after several days in which the Israeli Defense Forces have been massing on the border ahead of an expected ground offensive into Gaza. This in response to last weekend's attacks by members of Hamas, a group designated as a terror organization by many Western governments, including the UK. More than